Today we're at West Galveston Bay along the western shoreline that separates West Galveston Bay from Oyster Lake. This is phase two of a project that is uh, to protect the shoreline and prevent West Galveston Bay from breaching into Oyster Lake. Over the years, wind-driven currents, storms, certain areas of the shoreline have eroded to very narrow widths. West Bay is kind of a high energy environment, a little bit deeper water. Oyster Lake's a nice calm environment, some oyster reefs, a little bit shallower. And um, the strip of land separating those two bodies of water was eroding away. Between the 1940s and today, we estimate about 650 feet of shoreline was lost on the West Bay side and around 150 feet on the Oyster Lake side. We've done the project in two phases. Phase one was kind of an emergency type project. We had a strip of shoreline that was in danger of breaching and we wanted to protect that as soon as we could. And at the same time, we realized that there's, you know, there's a larger stretch of shoreline here that needs protecting, facing the same uphill battle that phase one was. So we utilized more time to go out and secure more funds to try to stretch this out to about a mile long project when it's all said and done, phase one and phase two. The first phase uh, it consisted of three rows of reef balls. And since that time, the shoreline has begun filling in behind the reef balls very well. We planted marsh grass, had a planting day with volunteers from the Houston Zoo, CCA, and Galveston Bay Foundation, and others. It's back filling in as planned and, and then replenishing the shoreline. This next phase, they're using large rocks and building a breakwater. This breakwater will stretch down the shoreline. It has openings in it to allow water flow. It also allows for the fish and other marine animals to move in and out of the area behind it. Create essentially a little lagoon behind it that will fill in and rebuild the shoreline over time. Galveston Bay Foundation is the lead partner in this project and has put this together. It really couldn't happen without partnerships. Uh, phase one and phase two combined, I think there's over 10, I think maybe 11 funding partners. So it, it takes a lot of effort from a lot of different people to make this stuff happen. CCA is a big part of that. You know, we were able to take the $200,000 that CCA provided for this project and go out and receive $270,000 in other funds. So you know, this project is funded on the state level, federal level, private entities, a well-rounded uh, project and we really couldn't do it without all our partnerships. We're also creating the opportunity to create about 10 acres of intertidal wetlands. Those intertidal wetlands are a key component of fisheries in Galveston Bay and estuaries throughout the world. Our intertidal wetlands are key nursery um, habitats for fish species and crustaceans and crabs. And we hope to establish that 10 acres of habitat that and we've lost over time through this erosion process. And we've already seen the shrimp and blue crabs in there. We've seen flounder out there and you know all the fish that we like to go out and try to catch, you know, the redfish or speckled trout. You know, they either, when they're young, they spend their life in that marsh. And when they get bigger, they go in there to try to feed on the little fish that are in there. So it's the habitat and the fisheries go hand in hand. Over the next year, 2016 and in the 17, if need be, we'll transplant some of the wetland grasses in there to try to get intertidal wetlands kick-started. We'll definitely monitor the project for the next you know, four, five, six years, and if something pops up that needs attention, we'll definitely look into uh, seeing what we can do to, to help that situation out. CCA takes proud to be a part of this project, is excited to see it completed. Know that long term, Oyster Lake and its, its resources, its systems, its ecological services will be protected in the future and that we have a healthy uh, ecosystem for many years to come. It's a great opportunity and we definitely appreciate CCA supporting this project and other projects along the coast to help facilitate the delivery of those projects.